Today we're going to be installing a hard drive onto my home server over here. Needs a new one. Bowie may or may not be joining us. He hasn't really decided yet. Probably once I open up the computer he might show up, but for now he's perfectly happy playing with his Boonana dog. So here's our hard drive. I got it as a deal on Amazon Prime Day. It's a 4 terabyte Western Digital WD Red, which is a NAS hard drive. That basically means it's designed to constantly be on and written to, which is perfect for what I need it to do because it's going to hold my security camera footage, uh, streaming stuff, and also my Dropbox. This here is my home server. Since it was once a my main computer, we've got the fancy uh, clear glass door so you can see all the innards. Even got my old 1060 in there. Right now it's just mining Ethereum because that's all the rage right now. So this has got the these thumb screws. They just unscrew, but they got like a little lip on them so they don't come out. You don't lose them. Oops. We've got our little drive base in here. Yeah, I might, you know, I might just dust this off because now that I see it in the light of the camera, it is just filthy. Alright, we've got the side panel off now. This is where all the uh, cords are shoved behind. So. Great. There's a power cord that's just right here hanging off this other hard drive, so that makes it really easy. I don't have to go and try to rearrange all these cables. You wouldn't believe how much dust these things pick up. I have to take some canned air to it. Another thing we need is a SATA cable, and so we're going to go look in my box of cables. Now, every IT person, and a lot of regular people too, you have that box of cables in your closet. It's just a big giant pile. It's all tangled up. It's horrible to go through. That's just how they are. Anybody that tells you that their box of cables is organized nice and neat, either just organize them or they're completely lying to you. Here it is. My bag of cables. Now we're going to try to see if we can't just slip it out a little bit. Thankfully, say the cables are usually red so hopefully I can just spot the red cable and just pull it out let's see okay like I said big horrible tangle of just about every cable imaginable Oh, here we go. I said these are usually red. I have a yellow one for some reason. This will be our cable. I'll clean that up later. I think I pulled this yellow cable out of an old Dell computer, so it should be long enough to reach to the SATA plug. Because basically, it's got to come from right about here, snake back through there, and plug in where, well, the other yellow cable is. All right, it's time to bring down the server. I don't have an actual server operating system. It's just plain old Windows 10 Pro. So while we're waiting on that, we can put our hard drive together. All right. Got our fancy anti-static bag. A nice little thing over here. Yeah. A little plastic tray, all you got to do is clips in there. No, no big fuss or anything. All right, this thing still hasn't turned off yet, but that's okay. We can still go ahead and slide our hard drive into the bay that it's going to live in. Now we're going to give her a little bit of a cleanup. Yes, I know I'm blowing into the computer, but you know what, just a little blast of can there. Woo! 
Man, this hasn't been this dusty in a while. <laughs> Must be all that ethereum mining. My goodness. I do not remember this ever being this filthy since I started using it as a server. Golly. <coughs> I mean, it's just a cloud. Unbelievable. I mean, look at how concerned Bowie is. It was so dusty, Bowie. I can barely breathe over here. Okay, so. We're going to take our power cord. Plug her into the new hard drive. Take our SATA cable. Plug her into the new hard drive. And then we're going to snake this SATA cable through this hole. Came through the hole right there. We'll pull it through. And we're going to plug it into this port. Because it's port number four. The other one's port number five. And I like to just use them in order. Dust this off a little bit more just to make myself feel better. All right. We're going to go to the BIOS real quick just to make sure our drives are showing up properly. WDC 40, 4 gigabytes. Everything's set up right. It's got the hard disk driver. I think we're good to go. Okay, we got the computer started back up. Now if we go into my computer, you'll see that nothing's changed here. I still have my three drives that were here before. So hey, what gives? Where's my new hard drive? So if you come down here to the start menu, right click on it, and you're going to hit disk management. Takes a minute to low, but you'll see it pops right up and tells you you must initialize a disk before it can access it. And that's going to be our new disk. If we scroll down here, you'll see disk 3. We have about 4 gigabytes unallocated. The next thing we need to do once we initialize the disk is to format it. So if you right click this blank area, you can hit new simple volume. It'll give you a new simple volume wizard. You'll hit next. It'll automatically fill it to the maximum size it can be. If you wanted to create multiple partitions, you could make this smaller, but we're just going to use the whole drive as one partition. Give it a drive letter. We're going to let it format it. NTFS is pretty much what you need with hard drives. So leave it a default. And then the label, you could really label this whatever you want. You could leave it blank. I'm going to leave it blank for now. I haven't decided what I'm going to name it yet. Well, next, finish. It'll take a minute to think about itself. And now when we go to our My Computer, you'll see a brand new drive there. But that's it. That's all you have to do to set it up within Windows. Okay, got our hard drive hooked up and set up on our computer real easy. No real trouble. It's really easy to set up a new hard drive just like I showed you. You just have to go into the uh, disk management, get it formatted, and then you're all set to go. That's uh, another episode of Cars, Computers, and Bowie. We'll see you next time.